aerobics versus anaerobic unleash their potential benefits. Today, we will learn the key distinctions between aerobics versus anaerobic exercises and how it can help achieve your fitness goals. Aerobics versus anaerobic, what is the difference? In the world of fitness and exercise, the term aerobics versus anaerobic are often thrown around, but what exactly do they mean? Whether you're a fitness enthusiast or just starting your journey towards a healthier lifestyle, understanding the difference between aerobics versus anaerobic training methods is crucial for achieving your desired results. Let us work our way out into learning the contrasting aspects of aerobics and anaerobic exercises, exploring their unique characteristics and shedding light on the benefits they offer. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more informational videos, so let's get started. Understanding Aerobic Exercise Comparing aerobics versus anaerobic exercise, the former refers to a physical activity that engages large muscle groups continuously and rhythmically, promoting the utilization of oxygen for energy production. By increasing the heart rate and breathing rate over an extended period, aerobic exercises promote efficient oxygen transportation to the muscles. Unlike anaerobic exercises, aerobic workouts involve sustained moderate intensity movements that stimulate cardiovascular endurance. It also enhances lung capacity and improves overall aerobic fitness. At the same time, it facilitates the breakdown of carbohydrates and fats for fuel. Aerobic activities can be low, moderate, or high intensity. For one, you can determine the intensity of an exercise through the talk test. If you can hold a conversation while doing aerobic activities without gasping for breath, it can be considered low or moderate intensity exercise. Examples of aerobic exercise Between aerobics versus anaerobic exercise, aerobic exercises often involve repetitive movements and get your heart pumping at the same time. Since it involves repetitive movements, it could get boring sometimes. In this case, the key to sustaining aerobic exercises is to choose one that you would enjoy. Some popular examples of aerobic activities include the following. Running or jogging. Running or jogging at a moderate to high intensity for an extended period is an excellent aerobic workout that engages multiple muscle groups, boosts cardiovascular endurance, and burns calories efficiently. Plus, you can do it anywhere on a treadmill, or run around your neighborhood, just make sure to be wary of your surroundings and carry a small safety gear such as pepper spray if you can. Cycling Whether on a stationary bike or outdoors, cycling at a consistent pace for a prolonged duration is a popular aerobic activity. It strengthens the lower body muscles, improves heart health, and provides a low-impact workout option. You can also do it on your own or with a buddy for a more enjoyable experience. Swimming Swimming laps or engaging in water aerobics offers a full body workout. It enhances cardiovascular fitness, tones muscles, and improves flexibility while being gentle on the joints. If you don't want to be sweaty on workouts and you love water, this aerobic activity is for you. Brisk walking Taking brisk walks either outdoors or on a treadmill is a simple yet effective way to engage in aerobic exercise. It increases heart rate, helps maintain a healthy weight, and can easily be incorporated into daily routines. This is a perfect exercise for beginners who don't like running or want to transition into running gradually. Dancing Dancing vigorously, whether in a structured class or at home, provides an enjoyable aerobic workout that combines rhythmic movements with music. It improves coordination, elevates heart rate, and allows for a creative expression. You can also choose from different types of dances and enjoy a good moving. Jumping Rope Jumping rope is a high-intensity aerobic exercise that engages the entire body, strengthens muscles, and improves coordination and agility. All you need is a trusty high-quality jump rope and a non-slip mat for less impact on your knees, and you are about to embark on one of the best and most effective workouts out there. Aerobic Classes Participating in aerobic classes such as Zumba, step aerobics, or cardio kickboxing provides a dynamic and fun workout. It incorporates a variety of movements to elevate heart rate and improve overall fitness. Understanding Anaerobic Exercises When it comes to aerobics versus anaerobic exercises, the latter involves quick, high-intensity movements as compared to the former's low-to-moderate-intensity activity. Anaerobic means without oxygen 
as it is because you do not use oxygen for energy, rather your body uses energy from your muscles. During anaerobic exercise, your muscles do all the hard work to the point that your heart and lungs can keep up with the intensity of the workout. Such high intensity workouts can lead to excess post-exercise oxygen consumption or EPOC. It works when the body restores its supply of oxygen post-workout and burns more calories at the same time. Examples of anaerobic exercise Regardless of comparing aerobics versus anaerobic exercise, it is still best to do both for the best health and fitness results. Incorporating anaerobic workouts into your fitness routine can help increase muscle strength, power, speed, and anaerobic capacity. Examples of anaerobic exercises include High Intensity Interval Training or HIIT HIIT workouts involve short bursts of intense activity followed by periods of rest or low-intensity exercise. This type of training such as sprinting or cycling at a maximum effort for a short duration helps improve speed, power, and anaerobic capacity. Weightlifting Resistance training with weights or using resistance machines is a common form of anaerobic exercise. It focuses on building strength and muscle mass by exerting force against resistance such as lifting weights or performing bodyweight exercises like push-ups, squats, or lunges. Weightlifting is for everyone. It can bulk you up depending on your program but will make you stronger. Plyometrics Plyometric exercises, also known as jump training, involve explosive movements that rapidly stretch and contract muscles. Examples include box jumps, burpees, or explosive push-ups. These exercises improve power, agility, and muscular strength. It can work especially in your lower body, so if you want to strengthen your lower body and core, this workout is perfect for you. Sprints Sprinting involves running or cycling at a maximum speed for short distances. This type of exercise helps develop speed, power, and anaerobic endurance. Circuit Training Circuit training involves performing a series of exercises targeting different muscle groups with minimal rest in between. It combines aerobic and anaerobic elements, incorporating exercises like kettlebell swings, medicine ball slams, or battle rope exercises. This can also be a fun workout with a buddy or done in groups. CrossFit CrossFit workouts often include a combination of various exercises including weightlifting, bodyweight exercise, and high-intensity intervals. These workouts focus on improving overall fitness strength and endurance. You can also check out the CrossFit events or watch YouTube to see how it works. Other sports involving explosive movements. Sports like basketball, soccer, tennis, or martial arts often involve quick explosive movements that rely on anaerobic energy systems. Common things about aerobics versus anaerobic exercises. Aerobic versus anaerobic exercises differ in terms of intensity and energy systems used. However, they also share certain commonalities. Health benefits. Both aerobic and anaerobic exercises contribute to better. Number one, weight management. Number two, improved cardiovascular health. Number three, muscular strength and endurance. Number four, overall fitness. Energy expenditure. Both types of exercise also require energy expenditure, whether it's through sustained moderate intensity movements in anaerobic exercises or short bursts of intense activity in anaerobic exercises, calories are burned during both types of workouts. Oxygen Requirement While anaerobic exercises predominantly rely on stored energy sources without the need for oxygen, aerobic versus anaerobic activities require oxygen to some extent. Aerobic exercises utilize oxygen for energy production, while anaerobic exercises still involve some aerobic metabolism for recovery and maintenance processes. Combine both exercises for best results. Many workout routines combine aerobic and anaerobic elements. For example, circuit training or CrossFit workouts incorporate both aerobic exercises and strength training to provide a comprehensive and balanced fitness program. Engaging in a mix of aerobic versus anaerobic exercises is beneficial for improving overall fitness. Combining the two types of workouts help develop a well-rounded fitness profile, enhancing cardiovascular endurance strength, power, and muscular endurance. 
risks in aerobic versus anaerobic exercises. Almost anyone can benefit from doing aerobic exercise, however, if you haven't been active for a while or have a chronic condition, it's important to check with your doctor first. Start slow. If you're new to aerobic exercise, it's best to start slowly and gradually increase your intensity to avoid getting hurt. For example, you can begin by walking for 5 minutes, add 5 more minutes each time until you can briskly walk for 30 minutes. Anaerobic exercise can be tough on your body. If you rate it from 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, high intensity anaerobic exercise is anything above a 7. It's generally not recommended for beginners who are starting their fitness journey. Consult a professional first. But it doesn't mean you can never start with anaerobic workouts. Before doing so, it's important to get approval from your doctor first. It can also be helpful to work with a certified fitness professional who can assist you in creating an anaerobic program that takes into account your medical history and goals. For workouts like HIIT and weight training, a fitness professional can also demonstrate the proper technique. Performing the exercises correctly is crucial for preventing injuries and maximizing the benefits of your workout. For these exercises, it is best to work with a professional to prevent injuries. Which is better, aerobics versus anaerobic exercise? The short answer is, it depends on your fitness goals. Both aerobic and anaerobic exercises are important for a balanced fitness routine, but when it comes to losing weight, anaerobic exercise such as HIIT can be more effective. However, it is best to consult with a doctor before engaging in any high-intensity exercise. Progress takes time. When you do HIIT and strength training, it's important to remember that focusing solely on total weight loss may not accurately show your progress. With these types of exercises, your body goes through a process called recomposition, where you may lose fat and gain muscle at the same time. Instead of relying on overall weight, it's better to measure fat loss to track your progress. Since muscle is more compact and takes up less space than fat for the same weight, measuring fat loss gives you a more accurate reflection of your body changes. Frequently Asked Questions Can I do aerobics versus anaerobic workouts at the same time? Yes, you can do both in the same workout session. Just make sure to rest for a few minutes so you can catch your breath in between both activities. Can aerobic exercises become anaerobic? Yes, it can. It is possible to reach the anaerobic zone from aerobic zone. For example, a simple jog in the morning can turn into a high-intensity exercise through interval training, including sprints. What is the maximum anaerobic zone? The maximum heart rate zone is between 80 to 90% of your maximum heart rate. The anaerobic heart rate zone depends on your age's maximum heart rate. To find out your maximum heart rate, subtract your age from 220. Takeaway In the ongoing debate of aerobics versus anaerobic exercise, we have explored the distinct characteristics, benefits, and considerations of these two training methods. Both aerobic and anaerobic exercises play crucial roles in a well-rounded fitness routine, and understanding their unique attributes can help individuals optimize their workouts and achieve their desired goals. Aerobics – Better Cardiovascular Health The key benefits of aerobic exercise lie in the ability to improve cardiovascular endurance, burn calories efficiently, and enhance overall aerobic fitness. Engaging in activities such as running, cycling, swimming, or brisk walking can lead to an increased stamina, a healthier heart, and improved lung capacity. Aerobic exercise is also accessible to individuals of various fitness levels, making it a popular choice for those starting their fitness journey. Anaerobic Exercise – Power and Strength Anaerobic exercise, characterized by high-intensity bursts of activity, offers its own set of advantages. Anaerobic workouts like HIIT and weightlifting focus on building strength, increasing power, and promoting anaerobic capacity. These exercises stimulate muscle growth, improve metabolic rate, and can lead to enhanced athletic performance. However, anaerobic exercise may be more challenging for beginners or individuals with certain health conditions, and it requires proper form and technique to prevent injuries. Consider your health goals. When considering which type of exercise is better, the answer lies in individual goals and preferences. For individuals seeking weight loss or fat loss, both aerobic and anaerobic exercises can contribute to achieving those goals. 
Aerobic exercise is effective for overall calorie burn, while anaerobic exercise can promote fat loss while building lean muscle mass. Both is better. Ultimately, the ideal approach is to strike a balance between aerobic and anaerobic exercises within a fitness routine. By incorporating the types of workouts, individuals can experience the benefits of improved cardiovascular health, enhanced muscular strength and endurance, increased metabolism, and overall fitness. Make sure to consult with a healthcare professional or certified fitness trainer to ensure safety and suitability based on individual health conditions and fitness levels. If you found this video informative, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more entertaining and thought-provoking content. See you on our next video.